Hey y'all, welcome back. And uh, today I'm in the beautiful Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. So let's see what uh, $10 US can get you here. So first off, when we convert it, it's uh, 37.59 uh, Saudi uh, Rials as of today. Um, and here's what the bills look like. So this is a uh, 10 Rial uh, a note. Here is a uh, 5 Rial note. And lastly, a, a 1. All right, so again, yeah, 10 US dollars uh, gets you 37.59 of uh, these Saudi Rials. And let's go see what I was able to, to spend it on. All right, next up, I was able to get this beautiful uh, pomegranate juice for uh, seven Rials. So uh, again, a uh, dollar stretches a long way. I asked him for a medium or a small, but uh, he smiled and said, uh, uh, welcome to uh, Saudi Arabia or Saudi Arabia and uh, <laughs> gave me the big one. So I don't need a big one, but here we are. Seven real, beautiful pomegranate juice. And uh, nice store here. So this area I'm in is um, uh, near the National Museum, um, which is uh, unfortunately closed till 5 p.m. But this is uh, all an electronics market. So uh, tons of cell phones, tablets, and. TVs, everything electronic is all sold here, and yeah, it's an interesting, uh, uh, interesting little market. Everything electronic is well above ten dollars uh, US. I will say that. Um, this one uh, is an old Iraq uh, bill, which uh, has Saddam Hussein's face on it. So I did buy one of uh, the Saddam Hussein uh, notes for. Uh, I just thought it'd be uh, something cool. I like to collect money as well from around the world. So this one's uh, no longer valid, but uh, kind of a unique piece. Uh, so that was uh, 15 uh, uh, Saudi Rials. All right, so I am a coffee fan and I'm always looking for the world's best coffee everywhere I go. That's one of my favorite parts of uh, traveling. Different countries have different uh, flavors, different uh, uh, ways of doing it. And I must say, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia must have some of the best coffee uh, I've ever had. So uh, it doesn't grow here, but they have a ton of countries uh, in the surrounding uh, region fairly close by that they're getting their beans from. But uh, this place right here, the Dr. Uh, Cafe Coffee, claims to be the best coffee in the world. And I like the claim. Um, I don't know if I'll give it to them. I, and I don't think I'm necessarily the, the right judge for it, but very delicious. Um, and yeah, there is coffee shops everywhere here. Everyone you can think of under the sun. They got, uh, um, you know, American brands, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, Canadian brands. I was surprised to see uh, Tim Hortons here in Riyadh. Uh, they got... Uh, um, all different European brands. They have their own uh, Saudi brands, of course, and then a bunch of uh, um, uh, different techniques on how to do the coffee. So the coffee culture is alive and well in uh, Saudi and uh, cheers, enjoy. All right, so we found this uh, coffee exhibition and uh, said 2022 is the year of the coffee. Um, we're just having a cup here, me and uh, Han, a few other gentlemen. So he just uh, made a pot there and just look how yellow that is. So that's from the uh, the saffron. So there's also a cardamom in it and uh, uh, coffee beans. So it's again, very unique uh, flavor to also, Canadian most important, style. it is free. Yes, and the price <laughs> is free, free. yes. As much you want that's right. Yeah. Well, I never would have guessed I'd be at a Tim Hortons in uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, but uh, here I am having a beautiful coffee. Uh, so it's a little taste of home, a little taste of uh, Canada. You can see uh, they got the Canadian flag there still as part of their uh, uh, logo and emblem. Another one on the wall there. So it just puts a little smile on my face. This is uh, the coffee I grew up on. and. Um, And yeah, tastes uh, very good, very similar. So um, as part of the $10 uh, US challenge, this is 10 Saudi Rial. So uh, still got a long ways to go. This is uh, um, 17 now after that uh, uh, seven Rial uh, pomegranate juice. So let's see what else I can get for another uh, 20 Rial. Here you can see the uh, history of Tim Hortons and now it is uh, made its way around the world. And uh, we're currently in uh, Saudi, so let's get one. So 
go. You can see they still got some of the original flavors, the maple dip, uh, but uh, some uh, unique um, flavors that they don't have in Canada. Hello, how are you? How there are you? we go. Perfect. So he's uh, uh, my colleague's uh, old childhood friend, and he said you got to meet him when I'm here in uh, um, Riyadh. So I'm very happy. Thank you, Inam, for uh, the hookup, and we're gonna have some lunch. So uh, I'll just show you quickly this uh, kind of the it's a um, it's called Al it's water well. Uh, this is a, a traditional water well, and uh, it's called the uh, Naid Village. Yes, Najib. Um, or Najib Village, and. Uh, this is just a traditional uh, uh, Saudi type uh, restaurant and we're gonna have a nice meal here shortly so yeah I'm excited to check it out. Alright here we go so this is our uh, lunch so this is a, a nice chicken and rice and this is the one I was very interested in this is uh, haji or young camel with uh, mixed in uh, with rice almost like a biryani I think would you say? Similar? Yeah, biryani or pulao. Pulao okay okay. Yes. Wow, and then we have a couple uh, uh, salads as well. Trying the traditional ways, and, and again, we're sitting on the ground here. It's, uh, yeah, beautiful uh, garden here. And I wanted to try, this is uh, Saudi beer. So this is uh, obviously, no, obviously no alcohol, but uh, gonna give it, give it a try so this uh, minus zero alcohol. yeah mine, minus zero <laughs> alcohol but uh, it's Saudi beer so we'll uh, we'll try this out so it's called the Musi it's um, <clears throat> almost sweet it's similar to uh, alcoholic beer of course but uh, um, in the traditional method of uh, zero alcohol so they have all the big American brands here, even uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Why not? So something uh, not many people can say they've done is uh, have a beer in uh, Saudi Arabia. So why not try a Budweiser Zero uh, green, green Apple? So of course there's no alcohol in it, but I still wanted to see if they had uh, non-alcoholic beer and that is really nice with the green apple definitely don't have that in canada I haven't seen that before and this was only uh, nine real all right here i am in a beautiful uh, boulevard world in uh, riyadh and this is something that was highly recommended for me to do uh, and let's get inside and check it out see what it's all about so it's uh, a big amusement park of sorts but uh, I've been told they're showcasing the world, essentially, so. Um, the best part about all this was there is uh, some confusion with uh, language. I don't speak Arabic very well, other than uh, hello and thank you. Um, and their Wi-Fi wasn't working and my uh, phone is not working for uh, um, data. Long story short, uh, I was able to uh, get in for free so the uh, uh, the manager and uh, the person working there uh, thought I had a nice smile and felt bad for me I guess and said hey get in there and uh, have some fun so um, the ticket is normally uh, about uh, $30 US give or take 25 or $30 US and got it for free so thank you and uh, shukran uh, to Boulevard World for the hospitality I, very excited to be here. Okay, let's check this out. Here we go. We're gonna try our Yay! luck at the basketball uh, shootout. Here we go. Okay, you can do it. Can do it. Oh. Whoa! Again? Oh! No luck. Do you no want luck. to try again? No, that's okay. okay. Shukran, thank you. Very nice. Um, so here we go, we're having a traditional uh, Arabic style coffee and uh, uh, this is uh, half the show is the, the pour there so this is a, um, it's a nice flavor. It's uh, saffron and uh, cardamom mixed with the, the coffee beans and uh, shukran, that looks uh, lovely. Thank you, thank you. And uh, um, 
And yeah, it's not quite as strong as uh, espresso or, or you know some other types of Turkish coffee or, or Italian coffee, but it is uh, it's very nice flavored. And uh, uh, what do you think? Uh, but it can vanish you are uh, sleeps, you know, if you are asleep. <laughs> Gawa, you call it, huh? Gawa. Gawa. Or ga Gawa. Gawa um, or Arabic coffee. Mm. Ah, it's nice. And again, the flavor is very very. Uh, um, Welcoming. It's almost like a tea. I would it say, will like make a. It you hungry. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. It's uh, meant very, to. Very good digestion. Uh, open up your digestion. appetite and yeah. Beautiful. Hey all, thanks again for watching. Uh, I had an absolute blast here in uh, Saudi Arabia. It, it exceeded my expectations, and I would highly recommend you guys to come check it out in uh, the winter season or Riyadh season, as they call it uh, here in Riyadh. So absolutely gorgeous. Tons to do. The people were were amazing. The hospitality, the food, everything. Really, really loved it. So uh, thanks again for watching. I appreciate your support, and if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button if you like what you're seeing and tell all your friends that's uh, how this channel grows and I can do this more often so uh, stay golden all tune in next week as we uh, explore another country